So I curled up here, we turned the fan on tonight. It's supposed to be uh, low of 49. And uh, we've kind of made an executive decision to turn this fan on. And I definitely feel the hot air coming out of these vents. Meet the Peterson family. Our dad, the three Peterson brothers, and our families farm together in central Kansas. Our family farm started in 1882 and has been raising cattle and crops ever since. Please subscribe to this channel and give us a like and a comment if you enjoy the video. So being it's been 90 degrees, um, there's hot air for sure coming out of there. The moisture is probably fine, but the grain is hot. So we think we're about, I was told we were two thirds full. That's probably about right. All right, drove across from the place, moving the first corn stock bales. I got a long ways to go. There's like 200 of them, so. Okay, taking off corn stock bales. For one time with the M7. Okay, so after I put the front ones, make a little three-point turn, stick the back ones back up there. I try to get the right amount of space when I spike them so I don't have to readjust the back ones. Some people's least favorite uh, part about moving bales with the trailer might be my favorite part. I love running between the tractor whenever it's parked a ways away from the trailer and running between them. In this case, I get to do a little quick jog back to the across the road to the home place to grab the semi. Still gotta hook it onto that trailer. Okay, fired up the semi, gonna unhook it from the pot and uh, run it onto the bale trailer. So when the winter it gets to pretty much stay on this semi all the time, the fall, I would say is the main time of year that it switches. Um, we've already done this several times since like, you know, since July, so. Then just pulled that lever to take those off. All right, now I'm out here, got the trailer. We stab the bales a little bit differently. Whenever I'm putting them on a trailer, I want them as tight as I can get them. Going up with these ones. Here's a field that we planted a double crop forage sorghum. We raise a lot of feed right after wheat. And so some years this can yield, you know, well over 10 ton an acre, this variety, um, but not this year. It's heading out in a few places, but mostly it's about waist to chest high. We'll still chop it. And it'll still make something, but we are gonna have um, probably half the yield on this than what we would expect. Maybe less than half as far as tonnage per acre. Um, but it's a good thing we have those corn stalks to kind of extend our feed because a lot of other things were disappointing. So it is um, Tuesday and uh, we are working on moving off all the bales you saw us bale in the last video or two. Um, we've already made quite a big dent um, in a couple of the fields, uh, but today we're going to kind of be at max uh, force uh, with, with more than one loader tractor going and, and more than one trailer and we're going to be unloading and loading at the same time. So uh, um, we've got several hundred bales to pick up. Kendall and I used to teamwork to uh, catch this baby calf. I didn't film the catching because that's always bad luck. Yeah. But we've got it and we're going to take it down. Kendall's going to give it some milk. Yeah. After it's he, several days old, so it had colostrum. After he tries to win this wrestling match. She, she's actually not wrestling too bad. Don't, don't jinx see. it. Oh, this one's a, it's a tag. If it's tagged right, it's a bowl. Go, go to the thing I just built. I built a little pen for it. It's gonna be our pet for at least a couple weeks. 
All right, we're out in the, the field of cornstalk bales um, that you saw us baling in the, the last video. And Nathan is finishing up uh, loading the semi-trailer. And so I'm gonna take the semi-trailer um, once he finishes there. And then uh, he'll load this trailer while I'm unloading the semi-trailer.
Okay, so I showed you <clears throat> that other forged sorghum field earlier. This one is in some more bottom ground. This is also double crop, so it actually put on a head. So this is a little bit more like what it's supposed to be like. A lot more leaves, a lot more biomass, and some uh, grain coming to enhance the uh, energy level of it. But not the whole field isn't headed out, but a lot more of it looks good. What's funny is you just walk over this far, and then on the way up the hill, it looks like this again. So a lot of variance. Out here picking up some more bales today. We've got bad news for the uh, double crop irrigated beans. We are out of water and they are starting to fire real bad on the hill there. These beans have been uh, growing like irrigated beans and now that the water shut off uh, we've got 100 degrees in the forecast and that's a bleak forecast to try to keep keep going with these. part of this field is a cover crop. This stuff was really short, but uh, it's rained a little since we swapped. And uh, I don't know, some of it maybe could be, some more of it could be swapped, but uh, if nothing else, it'll provide a cover and nutrients for next year. Maybe didn't get enough to harvest on most of it this year, but that's okay. Kept the weeds down. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the farming portion of today's video. The rest of the video is going to be some footage of my wife and I and Brighton's trip uh, to Glacier National Park this past week. Uh, we got to go for three days and um, just spent some time hiking and driving and, and seeing God's creation. And it was a, it was a great time. So uh, if you're not interested in watching basically our family home videos, then you can quit watching the video now. But uh, if you want to see what a trip to Glacier National Park in uh, Montana is like, keep watching. What do you think, Brighton? Did Daddy do okay? Can you wave? Yeah! <laughs> you having fun with the rocks? You want to climb up there so bad. Now you're up here. Now what?
You having fun eating your fruit? Dancing? Drooling? <laughs> Where's daddy? There he is! Where's daddy? There he is! Where's daddy? There he is! Think Brighton. Can you wave? Hi. Thanks for watching everyone. Check out our music videos linked in the description. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat, and explore our website www.petersonfarmbrothers.com. See you guys next time.